cooler temperatures, there's definitely a touch of the upcoming fall in the air. But as summer comes to an end and the kids go back to school, how do you keep that summer vibe going through the rest of the year? That's what we all mm -hmm. want to know, right? Our resident expert on purpose, well-being, and happiness, UW-Madison professor Christine Whelan joins us Our, now. The happiness professor. Yes. Yeah, I'm the happy professor. And, <laughs> and the fall can be a time of happiness and not just lost that the summer is over, right? right? Yeah, because it can't be like a melancholy time of the year. So for me, it's actually my favorite time of the me year. Me too. I because it. it's all about new beginnings. Yeah. Um, but, you know, but, I, but for a lot of people, it's that melancholy time because the summer is such a special time where you're outside in nature, yeah. perhaps on vacation, visiting family and friends that you love. So how do you take that feeling of summer and enjoy it all year long? There's some research been done on this. There is. So there is research on a concept called biophilia, which is the idea that nature actually makes us happier, that exposure to nature and green space makes us happier. So that's what we do in the summertime. But even if we can't be outside all year long, uh, there is a way to do this. So research has found that if you show people a stressful movie and then they were put into various different recovery conditions, one looking at a picture of green space, one looking at a cityscape, and one looking at a blank wall. Turns out looking, even just looking at pictures of green space lowers your blood pressure, lowers your stress levels, and has you recover from that, uh, that, that high heartbeat and stressful mm. situation oh, that much faster. So first of all, we want to have more images of green in our lives, you know, and if, and ideally get out there and enjoy the green. That's why I think a lot of cities are adding green spaces. Absolutely. It's really important and there's lots of research even coming out of Chicago on the importance of that, not just in terms of well-being, but in terms of self-regulation and behavioral modification. You know, we, we tend to act better when we're also out in nature as well. Listen, this is how we evolved, mm -hmm. right? Right. Right, it makes a lot of sense. It, it really does. Now, there is another yeah. research concept. It's a Spanish word. How do you pronounce it? Carencia. Carencia. Isn't that such a wonderful <laughs> word? It's it a is. really beautiful and powerful word. So that is the idea that human beings evolved in a particular place and that we are connected to a place. So think about it. Do you have a happy place? Do you have a place that you go back to or that you is no longer there but you wish you could go back to that, that has all sorts of really great memories? And in the summertime, so many of us go back to our happy places places, whether it's going back home to visit relatives, or for me, I just got back from two weeks at the beach, oh. and it is a particular beach, a particular dune, and that is my happy place. So this idea of cadencia is to recognize and honor that connection and figure out ways that we can either get back and recharge our batteries at that place, or even uh, bring an image of that into our lives. So, for example, in my car, all last winter, I bought this little thing on the rear view mirror. Um, it's a little surfboard, and it says, the ocean fixes everything. <laughs> oh, I love that. And really, that made me happy all winter long. So you don't have to physically go to the place. If you can, that yeah. would be great. But just the thought of it and the, the, ref the reference of it yes. brings you that So feeling. ideally, we try to go back to that place, and, and that's where we can kind of recharge and plug in those emotional batteries. But if not, remembering it or even creating a new place, a new emotional significant place to us can that can really recharge us the idea that people have to be all the all the things that uh, that, that fill us with joy how about a little bit of, of place and space as well so don't mourn the loss of summer relish it and relive the memories and relive the memories and try to bring some of those little tidbits throughout the year even a scented candle that reminds you of your vacation all these little things that bring our senses back to those great memories and embrace winter you know we live there's a reason we live here but a lot of people like the change of the seasons yeah easier said than done when it's Siberia in the middle of <laughs> January but but you know maybe that's part of it too it is and in fact people's happy place may actually be out uh, out skiing they may be out in the snow uh -huh. and in which case you know your happy place is still yet to come so you can enjoy that ahead too yeah, summer's miserable bring on winter, <laughs> bring on winter. <laughs> yeah. a lot of people that's true well, interesting interesting studies so do you mourn it I don't, you know, I love fall. Autumn is my you. favorite season. It's all about new beginnings and new possibilities. So this is my happy time, especially now that I've recharged at the beach. <laughs> yeah, see? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect School's timing. right around the corner. Yeah, that's so right. Have a great semester. School's Thank almost you. back. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to it. And um, and we'll, we'll talk more about yes. all these things. We'll see you next month. I look forward to it. Thanks, Thanks. Good to see you. Final check.